So these are the answers to your translation on free time. Hoy en día. Sometimes you can drop the N and just make hoy día. You could have had actualmente. All of those mean nowadays. Ahora you could have had as well. Es más importante que nunca. It's more important than never, literally in Spanish, que nunca. Tener tiempo libre para relajarse. Say stays on the end there. Doesn't need to change because it's one relax. Okay. Y pasar tiempo con amigos y familia. Debido, due to. Um, we could have had gracias a, I suppose. Not, um, not a causa de, though, because that's the negative version. So, debido a, or al. A plus el, remember. Squishes becomes al. Al hecho. Que la sociedad. Sometimes people put de here. De que. You could have put that one as well, but it doesn't need to have it there. La sociedad. You know this is feminine because it's got dath on the end. Right? So it's feminine. Se está haciendo. This one I've either used the continuous tense here of hacerse to become, or you could use the present tense. They mean exactly the same thing. It just shows the examiner you know both. Cada vez más estresante. This is a nice expression to learn more and more. Cada vez más. And then you've got an adjective after that. Los estudiantes se quejan, quejarse is a verb, it's reflexive, de la presión del instituto, remember del, de plus el, del instituto. Los adultos dicen, they say, this is often a common mistake here, so just be careful, it's got an eye on there, que, tienen que, they have to, they have to, tener que, is to have to, um, hacer, cada vez más, again, more and more, trabajo, work. Sin embargo, you could have had no obstante, as opposed to that one. Um, la vida no era, and we're using perfect here, siempre así. Always this way. Así literally means this way, or in this way. Y de hecho, in fact, es la, es la realidad así. Is reality in this way, literally? Or is it like this? Los estudios revelan, or you could have had destacan, or could have said subrayan. Any of those verbs, we've got revelar, subrayar, destacar, or mean highlight, or reveal. Que en 20 años habrá más gente. Habrá, there will be. No N on the end, doesn't pluralize. Más gente que jugará. Jugará, A on the end, because gente is singular, remember, not jugarán. Al deporte, jugar, al, always. Y menos que jugará, again, Jugará, because it's his yet. A los videojuegos. Gracias a las campañas. Gracias a, thanks to. Um, we don't say because, because of, porque de, doesn't exist. If it's something positive, you use gracias a. Something negative, um, a causa de. Or you could have used debido a, as well. Las campañas del gobierno. Or I put in brackets, says gubernamentales. There isn't an adjective in English, but you could have said campañas gubernamentales. That would have been right. Para sacar la gente de su casa, to get people out of their, of their house. Remember, verb plus a person needs an R between the two. Aún así, although still or yet, you could have just put aún, that would be right, but aún así sounds better. ¿Qué podemos hacer? We use the question form in the we form. ¿Qué podemos hacer ahora para reducir los efectos del trabajo de pasel? And remember your upside down question mark as well. Los científicos, be careful. Sometimes the words don't aren't the same, so you might put cientificistas or cientistas or something like that. But científicos, creen that they form, not crean. Crear is the verb to create. Creer is the verb to create, uh, to believe. You could have put piensan as well. Que remember we need the que, the relative pronoun there to join the clauses together. Creen que deberíamos, we should, conditional tense here, organizar, remember, second verb, same subject, infinitive, nuestros días, días is masculine, although it's got an A on the end, it's one of those irregular ones, so we put nuestros, días con periodos de tiempo libre, como la gente lo hacía, hacía, in the Haitian it form, in Spanish you can't just say the people did do, it, it's got to be, they do it, used to do it, literally, so that's why we put a lo, remember when we say no lo sé, it means I don't know it, but we translate it, I don't know. Y esto, demonstrative adjective, but for the neuter, referring back to an idea. Ayudará, this thing, it will help, future tense, A on the end of the infinitive. A hacer, ayudar, a, always takes a after it as a preposition. Hacer la vida más fácil. You could have been in the subjunctive here. Ayudará a que, um, haga la vida más fácil, but you don't need the subjunctive.